phenomenally. Uh, we just yeah, saw I know. Based on um, everything that just happened. Man. I know. We <laughs> just saw an amazing run by Mr. Zax in 96. You know what I'm saying? Stream, we are this a 420 Jackson. friendly stream. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you smoke them, if you got them. Because this is the one run we have for our 420 block. We have Faust 4712 <laughs> doing Shinobi 3, no kunai percent. What's now, up, Icky, man? Uh, <laughs> That's no, right. I, hey, go over to Fat Body Stream, man. Chat up in there. Support I know, uh, you know what I'm saying? You were like a pioneer <coughs> of this run. You've shown off a whole lot for this, man. Uh, do you have anything thank you'd you, like to say you, about the run? Or, uh, you know, any shout outs um, or anything you'd like to get out the way before we get started? Yes, I want to take a shout out to Cure for making me inspired to run this. I want to make a shout out to Mike Uyama because his first run uh, on the PS2 Sega Genesis Classics uh, was one of the ones that I used a lot when I was trying to figure out a lot of these strats. And then I also want to shout out to uh, the Ripper 999 and Caillou because both those boys I met at AGDQ or I met Caillou at AGDQ and then the Ripper I met online and both those guys pushed this run to a very respectable time and I couldn't be more thankful that they even like show the same passion as I did for this route so wonderful well uh, I am good to go on time whenever you are I know you have some settings you need to get correct all right man I'm ready on timer whenever you are just uh you want me to, we'll do a three two one all right yeah count. on your count yeah, actually, it's funny enough, man. I just figured out that after you put in the six button mode code to get the melee, I always thought it would like you had to redo it every time you soft reset it. But I just found out today that that is not the case. So we can just get right at it. So, word yeah. that is awesome. All right, so yeah, whenever you're good on your countdown, just uh, let me know and we'll be good. All right, we're gonna get going in three. Two, one. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. So, the, all right. So the basic premise of uh, this run is not to use any kunai at all. So I input the six button code, and that allows the six button controller to take over the mapping of the moves for Joe. And now A button is now my guard. Oop, that's not good. Oop. A is my guard, B is now melee, C is still jump, X is your ninjutsu, and Y is kunai throw. So, you'll see me pull off a bunch of different stuff and avert enemies in different ways instead of just spraying them with a bunch of kunai. We guard there because sometimes their explosion hitbox kind of takes you over and it hits you and that's just shitty. Oh, like that bullshit right there. Fuck that. Yeah, screw you. Normally you're supposed to be able to glitch through that, but I fucked that up. Luckily, there's another power right here. Screw these fools. Alright, this trick was found by a Tazer. Caillou actually implemented it into a run, so shout out to him again. And we just call that like the, like the, now it's like a wall jump. We just call it wall jump cancel because now we just do that. A lot faster than going back and forth and back and forth. What's up? And you'll notice that I'll try and uh, take out enemies and dash kick down. That's because if you were to look and see, Oh, I almost didn't make a double jump. Uh, he kind of slows down on the jump up from like. Dude, Faust is such such a homie. I'm excited kick. as fuck that he got a run. He in. just dive kicked out again and just kind of cancels all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you for the good lucks, everyone. I appreciate it. Yes. 
So this is the first auto-scroller, one of many in this game. And I kind of just like to mess around with it because the Ripper Chicken found vaginas. a good strap for eliminating the mini-boss on this level. It's very effective, it works 100% of the time. There's no way you can mess it up, so you guys will see it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fish guy though. Alright, so now we're just gonna wait for this little red ninja guy. For some reason, the color of their body makes them more powerful, but we got a little surprise for them. And it's called a very good attack called Suicide. Yeah, so if you noticed, I had his like foot like right on the side, and then I suicided, and that kills him. That's That was actually quite frame perfect. That was like the first frame that his character animation came on the screen, so I don't think that's ever been done before. Oh, a little too high up there, but I'll take it. Avoided me having to kill that guy. So another auto-scroller thing. Me. Normally if you have the sword it's a lot easier to guard, but the three bullets can sometimes take you out with a little dagger. There's a power coming up soon, so I'll just grab that. Okay. What's up? How do you do? I always think he looks like the Galaga ship when you do this. Alright, here comes the pal. Wait for this machine gun fire. Big mount. just sucks waiting through all these auto scrollers but I get what they were trying to do you know I'm trying to be all cool show off the blast process oh look man we can have like these 3d visual effects based in 2d background imagery and movements yeah I'm clearly talking out of my hands by the way Real easy too, so that's it. Boom, second boss done. So long, sucker. Oh, I like that chime. That means you got a light. Got it, suckers. All right, we're gonna do the timer glitch. We're gonna use this again in a different area because we only thought it could be used right there, but the Ripper actually found out that if you are in a section with the bomb, uh, the bomb timer going off, like the countdown, you can actually run through enemies without getting hit in any section if there's a bomb. So it's just we never really come across them except for certain instances like that. I kind of take my time with these brains because they're just oh, assholes. I still fuck it up, whatever. I'm still going, baby. Because there's still a power up over here. I'm just gonna take that.
Yeah, they kind of just mess around because you gotta wait for them anyways. They always just stack up and kind of hit me anyways, so I just kind of take all this damage and say screw it. I don't really care. Yay! Take her out. Take that. Hey, hey, hey. I'm touchy. Oh, man, this marathon has been so good. Thank you so much, Fat Body, for putting this on, letting us all do this. Trying to get the boys out, you know. Glad that we've almost made it. Alright, so this auto scroller section actually can be a royal pain in the ass if you don't play it out right because there's only two power ups and there is a section where these guys that are coming into hovercrafts interrupt with a jump like this over bombs. And you can somehow manipulate it, but it's just very inconsistent. So I always just, you know. Oh, what the? Fools. A bunch of fools. Alright, luckily we can power up. This is the last one. So I can't fuck up anymore. No more fuck ups. Alright, so this is the section. I don't know, I just kind of do that and kind of like lure them in. But sometimes it don't work. Oh, we snaked through that! Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Thought for sure he was gonna get me, but we survived. If he does, he does. This fool coming in. Staying off screen death. Yeah! Stay off the screen. One of my favorite tunes in the entire game. Now this boss right here can be an asshole sometimes, so we're just gonna... Hopefully he only hits us twice. Alright, good. It's twice. That's cake. He's 
done. He's out. Ooh. Ooh, two extra guys? What is this madness? Alright, so this is another trick that I found. Hit him twice, stay over on this side, and hopefully we'll get in the box. We get it. That's the same hitbox kind of trick you do with the first samurai boss in level 1, and I found that from doing a shit ton of runs of these. Aw, oh, this mother. Alright, so here's what Ripper found out. So we got a bomb section, a lot of bomb sections. So, we're going to let those go, and we're going to let this one kind of drown out. Now look. Oh, what up everyone? See ya. Same trick as in the first level of a uh, body weapon, but we didn't know we could use it anywhere else, so shout out to the Ripper again for that. section no problem bait this guy's ammo to come out double jump over here grab this second jitsu thing because that's that's really neat in this section I always let the bomb come through here and just use that as the extra boost because I always mess up this section a lot so I just use him to kind of take the body damage because that won't take away your power and then right here I do that because if I was getting hit by that three machine gun bullets, that would have just dropped me back an insane amount, and then I would have just ended up in the lava. But because I take the body damage, I'm like taking advantage of the invincibility frames. So as you can see, there's a lot of those back and forth jumps going on through this section, but because we do, because we do that, it just takes away a lot of unnecessary jumpage. So. so I used to do a double jump there to kind of do it faster, and I always got stuck in a valley between these guys right here, but oh, and I still got Motherfucker. Never mind. <laughs> well, Caillou found out if you just kind of take the lower route, then the other guy doesn't spawn up until you do that, but I fucked that up. So now I gotta do old school strats. Oh, no, no, no. 
don't know. Oh, for one hit? I should have just taken a hit. Son of a bitch. Ah, whatever. Y'all know this is a goofs 420 run. Doing it. Here comes everyone's favorite stage. So much so that I'm going to take defense early. It's easy peasy if you don't get hit. Well, problem is, <laughs> easier said than done. Probably not gonna say much during this because I don't want to fall and die. Wow, I'm surprised that even like did that. I was, I was gonna, I thought I was gonna hear the lightning shield for sure. But whatever. Yep, Here's one. That would have just taken away my power, and you don't get another one. And dealing with the boss with no power is. A Because he has cycles. He goes through these two different cycles, and there's only a threshold of damage that he will take before he goes into another cycle. So the most damage you can give him is six hits. And then he goes into his different cycle. So the suicide attack is pointless in his fight. The only thing you gotta use is the sword because two hits with that and he goes into a cycle and it's faster than hitting him six individual times with your dagger. Come on, feather fuck. I used to watch my stepdad play this fight all the time as a kid. So I could never get through this stage as a kid. He was the only one that could. That I knew of at the time. And then I grew up. Whoa, why are you coming in hot like that? That's it, he's dead. Of course. Oh, this track. Another Ripper strat. Just avoid him. Actually, I think this is a strat used by a lot of people, so I just attribute it to him because that's what I kind of saw as more. Oh, you son of a... Well, that got bundled up, but we're gonna recover from that. Oh my lord, that's not a recovery, that's a fuck up. Oh my lord, what am I doing?
as golden. Oh, why does the stage always get to me? So we don't have to use the fucking electric shield. So now we can do this fucking neat trick. And that is the quick first phase for this asshole. How are you not dead yet? <laughs> All right, the final confrontation. Oh. <laughs> It's safe this time. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I'm still reeling from that. section. Any section where you just gotta hang all the time, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. All right. Scary part over. Or it should be just smooth sailing. Hopefully we'll get some D spawns and all that. Hey, 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 hey. No time for that clickety clack. That's what we want. Yeah, we got no robots and like barely any of those turrets come out, so that was beautiful. Which is one more. Yep. My favorite section. Oh. I don't know how we somehow avoided all that, but it's, uh, we did not avoid it. Son of a 
around today. So. Lucky Jack. Run. <laughs> All right. So now we're getting ever closer to battling. Oh, what the? The last boss. We just gotta go through this little platforming section. We should be good. Grab the extra thing right there. Let's go there down. This guy kind of You should have just given it to me! So here we go, last guy. Hopefully, we can get him done quick. You son of a bitch. How dare you? Oh, we already got fucked up. So you have to use the suicide attack when he's jumping. If not, it won't hit him. He'll just appear behind you and fuck you up. That's, that's it. That should be it, hopefully. So get ready on timer. Maybe not. Thought that would have worked, but apparently not. That should. Alright, so we gotta wait till the screen fades to black. Get ready on timer, fat body. So, and 
time. 3308, 3307. Ah. That's about a 50 seconds worse than my PB of 32 something. But yeah. This was freaking awesome. Yeah, I encourage everyone to check it out. It's a good, 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 good Sega game. It's a good speedrun game, too. There's any percent, and we got normal kunai lists and expert kunai lists, but we're still working on expert because there's a lot of different mechanics in that, and there's still a different route that needs to be worked out on that. So I encourage everyone to come and follow us and join the discords and everything and keep on keeping and enjoy the next part of this shit. All right, everybody. Oh, yeah, the call. Shit. All right, fast enough, fast this is the call. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my bad, diggity. Call again. My bad, dog. Dude, you're good. All right, everybody. <laughs> and so that was Faust 4712 with 